In this video, I want to show you how to use the remove filters DAX function in Power BI. I'm going to show you how to use it step by step and also how it differs from the old DAX function. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So in a previous video, I showed you how to create a Gantt chart using just the default matrix visual in Power BI. And in that video, we created a couple of variables which uses the all DAX function, which makes sure that any filters applied to the calculations are ignored when evaluating those expressions. And if you've used the all DAX function before, you'll know that it has different variations like all selected, etc. Now, while this function is really useful and handy, I found that there is a more efficient, lightweight alternative, which is called remove filters, which does just that. It removes the filters from the context that you're evaluating, similar to the all DAX function. Let's have a look at what it says in the documentation itself. So here is the remove filters DAX function in the documentation. So here it says it clears filters from the specified tables or columns. So here in the syntax, it says that you can specify a table that you want to remove the filters on. You can specify column or you can specify multiple columns. What's even more interesting with this remove filters is that the parameters are all covered with the box brackets. And this means that it's optional. Uh, which means that you don't have to put any parameters for the remove filters function to work, meaning that you can apply remove filters to say, uh, apply it across my whole data set, which is really interesting. So you'll see the type of parameters it's looking for, tables and columns. And here we have the return value, which says not applicable. So this is the main difference between the all function and the remove filters function. So with the all function, it returns a table, it creates a virtual table underneath, whereas the keep filters doesn't. So what does that mean? So let's go to my Power BI report here. Let's ignore the fields that I've created at the moment. We'll go to the data view here and we'll create a new table. So we'll create something called all table, it doesn't matter. So we'll type all, and let's say we want to create uh, all orders table. If you hit enter there, you'll see that it gives you everything in that table, the orders table, and creates a new table for you called the all table because it returns a table. So now if you try to use remove filters as you would with the uh, all function, you'll see that it won't let you uh, because you'll see that you can only use it in a context where a calculation is already happening, uh, which means, and the key difference is that the all function creates a virtual table underneath in order for your filters to not be applied to, whereas remove filters simply just removes the filter context to a calculation you're already doing, which makes it more lightweight and a straightforward alternative to the all function. So let's delete this demo that we've created now that you understand the uh, main difference between these two. Now let's go to the demo here. And here I've created a very simple um, data model, which is based off the Northwind database. I have four tables here that ultimately gets information about orders, what products were ordered, what, which categories they were, as well as the quantity and unit price. So the only thing that it's missing is the total sales, uh, which we do by calculating it with the unit price against the quantity. So let's do that really quickly. I'm not gonna bother where it should be. I'm just gonna create one called total sales. And here we're going to just add a calculate for now because we're gonna add a filter context later. We can just use SumX and let's say for order details, I want you to give me the sum of unit price multiplied by quantity. So we're gonna have that first on a card right here just to show you the total values. And then I want to show it to you in the category table and total sales. 
So you'll see at the top here is the aggregation of that total sales, which just does it across the whole data set. And the differences in this table, you'll see that the total sales are different because we've added that row context, which means that I want you to do the total sales, but it's filtered for each of these categories. So it's saying, give me total sales, but only for, let's say, beverage, or give me the uh, total sales for condiments. So that's pretty much how it works. However, let's say you want to get the total sales for each of the rows, but without any filter context into it. So you want to get the whole 1.35 million across all of these rows. So maybe you're calculating percentage of, uh, of a whole and you don't want uh, your calculations to think about the row context. So this is where you use the remove filters function. So to do that, we're gonna go back here. We've already have the calculate function wrapped around the sum X. The next thing that we need to add are the filter context. So we're just gonna say remove filters on the category name. So any filters that use this category name, ignore those row context filters. So here you go. So that's what's happened. Now the total sales, instead of uh, checking uh, if what are the total sales for the beverage, it gives you just the total regardless uh, of uh, what you put, or what category you have highlighted on that table. So now let's say you want to add a product name as well. So we've expand that, you'll see that the product name uh, applies a row context further to the total sales. So it, it kind of uh, removes the row context for the category name, but now it uses the product name. So this means that you need to add a remove filters for the product name as well. Now, normally you can just add another column here, which will be, I mean, normal but that won't work because they actually belong to a different table. So what you need to do is instead of doing that, if you have um, different, let's say, fields in different tables, just add a new remove filters because uh, you can add as many filter contexts as you want in your calculate function. So in this case, we want to say, okay, ignore any filter context on the product name as well. So here you get the same result as we want before. So you can do this, or what you can even do is to make your life easier. And let's say you just want to do a blanket ignore on all of the filters in your data sets. You can simply just remove any parameters, just say remove filters. So that does exactly that. So any column or fields that you add in this row context will be ignored. So you will always get total sales no matter what. So that's good to know um, if you're thinking of doing something like this. And that's really it for the remove filters function. So with regards to the all function, the only main difference as far as I know is that the all creates a virtual table behind the scenes, whereas remove filters simply just removes the filters from the expression. Otherwise, they're pretty similar, functionally speaking. However, if you know any more difference between these two functions, let me know in the comment section box below. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how to use the keep filters DAX function in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.